Okay, we're back out of the egg place. Um, we've got a new unit eventually. Um, it got delayed three times when they were shipping it for some reason. Um, we've got, just took about a kilo out of it, a kilo of 404, which is a little bit light. But it might, it might take 1200 kilos, uh, 1200 grams. Talking about, we might have another 200 grams in the pipework to break the vacuum because we've only gone down to about half a vacuum and it's come up again. So it it might be a bit short, it might not. I don't know. Anyway, gas is out. Cut the pipework, get the new one sat over there, join it back up, pressure test, blah blah blah. Okay, that's the new one sighted. I just cut through the uh, pipes of these cutters. Um, save some brazing them because I'm going to try and use that stub again, that'll probably fit in there. Um, that one will have to cut it back because this is half inch and that's five eighths. Um, yeah, it's a lot, lot easier than unsweating that whole stub with the old valve on there. It's, it's scrap anyway, so you might as well just cut them off with the cutters. Um, and then we want to cut this because that should hurt. Heat shield. We'll get that in there like that. And then we just heat that up, pull it out, pull it off of there. Same, you know, get a good idea. Right, done the top one. So there's that one there and that one there. Quick nitrogen pressure test. Um, Back it, charge it, we've got to wire it. It's a simple way, got that wire there. Um, and fingers crossed. Okay, that's M2. That one went a bit better. Um, that's gone a bit done. It's it's full because we we chucked half a stick into it, sort of thing. And I had the torch a bit too hot and it sucked all the all the uh, braze up so I didn't get a nice little fillet but it's it's got enough in there to leak be leak tight and um, it's the pipe sort of sleeved into a good inch it's got the cover off this I notice the screws are M5 instead of M4 that's a bit better they, they go in better less like to get them cross threaded um, it's, it's not a bad little unit actually I give it its due um, Got a delay timer, I think, maybe for the compressor. Manual reset HP. Um, it's got a little muffler on there. Discharge. Ball valve, you can pump it down. Let's change the dryer. If you had to, flare fittings on there. They're not too bad because they've got copper washers in there, so you can, you can put a new copper washer in every time. Uh, it's like glass damn foss. Um, yeah, not a bad little unit. Uh, it's been all back for probably half an hour. Uh, something like that. Uh, the old vacuum gauge was stuck around 800 for a while. And it's started dropping again, so I think we might have just pulled a bit of refrigerant out of the... Um, Evaporator. Oh, I, think, I, like. I haven't put the magnet on there. I need to put the magnet on that solenoid core. Let's go and get the magnet. Can get the. Uh, they started sending them out with these plastic. Um, okay, can't see. Bottle, bottle adapters. Um, and they're on there. They're not even tight. So you have to nip it up with a spanner. Um, anyway. That one was leaky. That was the old bottle. We had about 100 grams left in there. This one I couldn't get. I nipped it up and it still leaked. And then you're not sure because you hear it hissing. You're not sure if it's the gauge line connection or what. Anyway, we took it off and it's got all this rubbish on it. Look at it. So I hope that isn't inside the bottle as well. Um, but I might, I might go and find a little, a little O-ring, a little rubber O-ring there. I can nip them up hand tight. But yeah, they, they, they. So they're, they're finger tight. Not even touching really, you know, just on there, and they don't even put a cap on them anymore. 
So I start capping them because otherwise, if that valve leaks, all your gas is going to go. Yeah, climb a life. Right, anyway, we've given that a bit of a clean up, and you can see that green bit I thought was uh, stuck on paper, like so, like I said, the other paper gasket on there, but I think it's actually corrosion. Um, and that bottom from about here across to here is all bent in. So if something smacked that valve and bent it inwards, and when you compare how that one looks, I can, I can actually put my finger in there easily. Finger won't fit in that one. This whole front face is pushed in. Um, so that, that's why these rubbishy little things aren't going to seal. So anyway, I'll, I'll see if I've got an O-ring that'll fit in there. We might be able to get a seal on there. Right, come at the truth. Well, that's lit up. What's the fans running inside? Okay, that's just started up. I think the fans on the speed control. So that started up slowly. Um, Possibly not got enough gas in it yet. We've only got well, that's 800 grams in there so far. That's the LP cut back in. It's on a three minute time delay, I think. It's like 21 degrees, I think. Fan. Compressor. Just shut the doors on it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got one and a half kilos in there just to clear the sight glass. So we're not far off of the 1.2 we pulled out of it. Uh, it's a bit low. Um, it's just pumped down. So maybe the room's down to temp because it probably runs about 14 degrees. I was forgetting, I was thinking it was a, a cold room at sort of 2 or 3 degrees, but of course it's keeping eggs. So it runs around 14. Okay, we're about to open the door up on the room because it brings the temp down so quick. Um, we went with a smaller unit than what was on there. What was on there in the book, well, I think, was a two and a half horsepower or two horsepower freezer unit, and we've gone with a one and a bit horsepower chiller unit. Um, and it's still. Um, Still fairly oversized, but then I don't know if you put a few hundred kilos of eggs in there at a body temp, um, there might be a bit of a heat load on it. Anyway, we kind of match the condensing unit to the evaporator. Full sight glass, we put 1.6 kilos in, and we'd already put a little bit out of the other bottle in there, so. It's about 1.7-ish. Uh, 1.775, I think. Mean, I just have to call it a bit over there. So call it 1.8 kilos. Um, a few bubbles in there again now. I think that valve's hunting a bit. Anyway, yeah, I'm impressed with this. It's a nice, it's a nice little unit. I might, might fit a few more of these. Yeah, that's keeping it at 19, uh, 19 uh, what was it, 19.5? Something like that, with the door open. You can see we're pulling moisture out of the air because that's dripping away. That soon come down if I shut the door.
19, yeah, fucking rockets down. Yes, down to 16, I think's the set point. 